In this video, we'll introduce the concept of a limit. We've already used this concept, although we didn't use that word. When we talked about instantaneous rates of change, we talked about H getting closer and closer to zero, but not actually equaling zero. Now we'll talk about X instead of H. But that's the same idea that we want to encapsulate. Absolute. Suppose that X is getting closer and closer to some number C without actually reaching C. Suppose that as that happens, F of X gets closer and closer to some number L. Then we say that the limit as X approaches C of F of X equals L. Soon enough, we'll learn rules and tricks for finding limits. But let's start by just investigating an example numerically and graphically. Let's say that f of x equals x squared. And let's investigate the limit as X approaches three of F of X. Note that this is a little different from the example in my notes. Let's ask what happens as X approaches three. So we start with X equals 2.9, F of X equals 8.41. Here's a number that's even closer than to three than 2.9 was. And f of x is now 8.99 something. Get closer to three still. And f of x is now 8.9999 something. get even closer to three, and f of x is 8.999999 something. So what it looks like from this table is that the closer x is getting to three, the closer f of x is getting to nine. And we could similarly start a little above three and get closer and closer to three from the other direction. So here we start below three and increase towards it. Here we start above three and we are decreasing towards it. 
And you make the same observation. The closer X is to three, the closer F of X is to nine. And you'll notice one number that we're not plugging into this table. We're not letting x equal 3. The idea behind a limit is that you let x get closer and closer to this number, but you don't let x equal it. In most situations, when we take a limit, f of that number won't even exist. Like you saw that with instantaneous rates of change. We let h get closer and closer to zero, but h couldn't actually equal equal zero because it would give us a division by zero error.